Okay, in this video I want to do some examples of dividing complex numbers and the idea in these examples we're gonna have a denominator with a complex number of the form either a plus bi or a minus bi where b is non-zero. The trick is in this case you multiply the numerator and the denominator by a if it's a if it's a plus you use a minus bi if it's a minus bi we use a plus bi and then we just have to simplify it and this is what's known as multiplying by the complex conjugate. So all a conjugate is, you know, if you have a plus bi, the complex conjugate or the conjugate of that would be a minus bi. We call it a complex conjugate just because we're using complex numbers. Um, so okay, so that's that's really the main idea in all these problems. Nothing nothing worse than that. So we've got three examples here i over 5 plus i, 2 plus 3i over 1 minus 4i, and 4 minus i over negative 2 minus 7i. So let's just take them here in order. So we have i over 5 plus i. Okay, so what we're going to do in this case again is I look at my, my complex number in the denominator and I see, well, there's a, there's a plus sign in between them. So what I do is I multiply the numerator and the denominator by 5 minus i. And then we'll have to clean it up a little bit and simplify it, but that's the basic idea. So in the numerator, um, we have i times 5 minus i, so we'd have to distribute the i uh, to, to both terms. So i times 5, I'm going to write that as 5i. And then we would have i times negative i, which would give us negative i squared. And we'll come back and do some more simplification for sure. In the denominator, if we distribute things out, we have 5 times 5, which is 25. If we take 5 minus i, we get minus 5i. On the inside, we get i times 5, which is positive 5i. And then when we take a positive i times negative i, we're going to get negative i squared. So in the numerator we have 5i minus, but remember i squared, that can be replaced with negative 1. And then in the denominator, this is kind of the point of multiplying by the conjugate, notice the negative 5i and the positive 5i are just going to cancel out. So that leaves us with 25 minus our i squared, but again I'm going to rewrite that as negative 1. And then in the numerator we have 5i plus 1 over 25 plus 1, which will give us 26. And I'm going to break this up a little bit more, 1 plus 5i over 26. And now uh, typically you'll write I'm going to break up my fraction 1 over 26 plus 5 over 26. I'm just going to pull the i out to the side. If I could, um, you know, I would reduce these if at all possible, but there's not really um, much to do here. And again, the idea is typically we write complex numbers in the form a plus bi or a minus bi. So that's the idea of why people will a lot of times just break up this fraction. I see the real part, and now I see the imaginary part as well. So, all right, that's the basic idea. Again, just multiplying by the conjugate. So, in another video, I'm going to do these other two examples. Same process, multiplying by the conjugate of the denominator, simplifying, and uh, that's it.